What's up guys? Today I want to talk to you about my experiences with using Pop! OS as my main daily driver for the past two months. I chose Pop! OS originally for a couple of reasons, namely the out of the box Nvidia GPU driver support and the modified version of the known desktop environment that System76 developed and introduced into Pop! OS. Pop! OS is aimed at being one of the most work efficient and workflow inducing Linux distros out there. Now, if you don't know, System76 are the main development team behind the development of PopOS. Unlike most Linux-based operating systems, PopOS does indeed have a devoted team of paid developers. I suppose this could be seen as both a positive and a negative, depending on your point of view, but it seems to have worked pretty nicely for PopOS so far. But like I said, I chose PopOS for its NVIDIA GPU driver support and its custom known setup. Let's talk about the custom GNOME desktop first. The desktop environment is based on GNOME, however, PopOS's version of GNOME also includes a tiling manager of sorts that can be toggled on and off through clicking the tiling button in the top right corner of the screen. Turning the normally floating Windows desktop, reminiscent of Windows, into an efficient workspace, eliminating the need for a mouse when using multiple windows at once. This has to be one of my favourite features of PopOS that I've used constantly over the past couple of months. It is really useful for getting work done. You can just swap in between windows seamlessly with the super key, the windows key on normal keyboards, and the arrow keys is pretty damn useful. And I know using a window manager has become kind of a meme over time, where people seem to eliminate more and more features to rid their computer of my bloat. But I find the choice of having both a standard GNOME desktop as well as a tiling window manager to be quite fitting for a good workflow, as well as an efficient use of screen real estate. Talking of screen real estate, you also have the ability to stack your tiles on top of each other, which is a feature I absolutely love and use constantly to keep the amount of visible tiles to a minimum. I've encountered a few glitches and bugs, but they're only minor, and I've yet to come across a software breaking bug or glitch that ruins my workflow. Talking of that, PopOS states that they aim to have their operating system used as a tool for work productivity and creativity, and during my use case it hasn't caused me any distractions, so it seems to be doing its job nicely. But don't let that fool you, it can still be used to have a good time playing video games or watching YouTube and that. As a normal operating system, it exceeds in its capabilities to do multitasking and everything you'd expect from a modern day operating system. Now, the out-of-the-box NVIDIA GPU driver support was a big plus for me, as when I was choosing which Linux distro to replace my Windows install with, I wanted something that could play video games just as well with a minimal setup on my end. But, as I've used Linux, I haven't felt the need to actually play any games regularly. In fact, I'll probably play a game once every week and a half for an hour or so. Maybe the takeaway for this is that if you want to stop playing games, maybe just install Linux and get rid of Windows? Or maybe it's just me. But in my opinion, that would be a pretty good idea anyway, so, you know. But who knows, I might hop to another distro to see how it is, as I now don't really have any need for any graphics blob drivers anymore. The open source drivers are most likely more than enough for most things anyway. You only really need the blob drivers if you're, you know, playing AAA games, a gamer boy, I guess. But now I've skipped over quite a few features that come with Pop OS, almost all of them. So if you want to see maybe a whole review of the operating system or any other Linux distro, then let me know and comment down below, and I will most certainly do that. In conclusion, Pop OS is pretty good. A highlight being the custom known tiling desktop that comes with it and the different ISO files they offer on their website for download. Depending on your system specs, along with the strong backing it seems to receive commercially from their sale of their in-house built computers, like their laptops, their, I think they do some notebooks, the mini towers they do, uh, I'm pretty sure Linux Tech Tips did a review on, on one or two of them. They seem pretty good. Very expensive though, so if, if you're just looking for a, a Linux computer to get, you know, get your feet wet and computer like that, definitely maybe look somewhere else and don't fork up the money for that. So how has your experience been with PopOS? Post them in the comments down below to let me know, and I'd love to hear about other people's experiences with it. Mine's been pretty positive, yours might be negative, you know, put them down, let us know. 
Oh, that about wraps it up. Uh, sorry for this one being a bit shorter than the last one. This is just something I wanted to share. Changing the format a little bit. Got a little, got a little uh, presentation going. I think it's pretty nice. Um, have a good day, everyone. I'll see you in the next one.